Yeah, we're here at Notre Dame Prep uh, Field, uh, actually called Bemis Field, and we started this project uh, over three years ago, and it was a long process, of course, doing a capital campaign uh, to get the funds to be able to build this beautiful stadium. Uh, so uh, we started the project two years ago and had a discussion about all kinds of things about the field, including uh, the lights and what we would go with, and we decided that LED was going to be the route to go. We chose three companies to bring in to do a proposal on um, who would get the contract for the lights and we got a proposal that was I'd say significantly uh, less expensive than the other two companies had proposed and so um, you know the fact that we weren't uh, unlimited funds uh, we decided that we would go with the lowest proposal so the lights get placed put in by the uh, previous company and right away everyone knew that there were issues uh, you know there were complaints from the neighbors uh, we we tried our best to work with our neighbors to tell them we're, we're trying to fix it, but basically that um, they could see from their home through their windows the light coming into their into their homes. And so we of course want to be good neighbors and we have restrictions as far as what the city of Scottsdale allows us to have for spillage. Uh, they have very strict uh, readings for light spillage and, and what those readings have to have. And we, the, with the previous lights, we were unable to meet them. We actually weren't very close to meet them. The city of Scottsdale was great. We worked with them, they gave us some time to try to get it fixed, but as we went on, it was pretty clear that with the lights that we had chosen originally, we weren't gonna be able to meet those requirements. And at one point they did say, look, they're, they're not meeting the requirements that we all agreed to at the very beginning. And you know, we, we were not allowed to play on it moving forward. And so again, we just, we needed to find a, a solution for this as soon as possible because you know, we have this beautiful field, we want our kids to be able to play on it. We reached out to Musco and uh, they gave us a proposal to be able to come in here and fix the lights and luckily we we're able to use the poles um, and a, a lot of the previous equipment, just um, them coming in and replacing the actual lights, which was a huge money saver for us instead of having to start from scratch. Lights came on and I can honestly say since the lights have been on, there has not been a night, whether it's a football game, lacrosse, soccer, where a parent hasn't said to me, wow, these are incredible, uh, the first time that they've walked on the field. So uh, I started by being across the street in the neighborhood when they first turned on to see what kind of spillage there was. And there really wasn't anything that came across the street. It was dark, but we haven't heard uh, one complaint from the neighbors. Uh, in fact, and a lot of neighbors actually said Notre Dame did a really good job. Uh, with the lights, they're much better than they were in the past. Like I said, the city of Scottsdale has very strict restrictions on things like uh, lighting, and they were testing the lights at every point, on, not only on the field, but um, outside the field, across the street, in the neighborhoods. They signed off on everything. We're good to go. We have played our, our home games here on this beautiful stadium, and it's gone really, really well. Uh, Musco is great to work with. Uh, you know, we through the whole process you could imagine that there was some um we were, I was a little skeptical about whether this was going to work at all, whether anyone could meet the light requirements and if we were ever going to be able to play uh, a game on this field at night again. Hindsight being 2020, if we went back and, and replayed our decision on, on what company to go with, there's no doubt that we would have gone with Musco from the very beginning because in the long run it would have saved us a lot of money and I'm extremely confident in their ability to be able to um, get any job completed um, especially you know being in Scottsdale where we do have very strict restrictions and they were able to meet every one of those restrictions and as soon as they took over the job uh, you know the confidence level went up quite a bit and now that the job is complete I have I have no doubt that must go um, is a fantastic company and the company that uh, we would go to in the future for any lighting projects that we have